Thanksgiving. Here we are, the second episode of Aaron's Tchotchkes, and I am your host, Aaron Copeland. Aaron Copeland here, your host of Aaron's Tchotchkes. It is Saturday, May 2nd. Let's see, Louis. Boy, it's going to be a long day if I cannot remember how to say Louise Hay. Let's see what Louise does today. Louise says it's Saturday, May 2nd. We're going to believe her because I don't know what day it is. I am a yes person living in a yes world. All right. So we're on our second episode of Aaron's Trotsky's. Welcome. Today, it's really not, it's not technically a tchotchke, but I was feeling it today. My mug. My mug is the tchotchke today because it has this cute cat. Sorry, it's, it's full. We're going to talk about what I'm drinking in a second. And it says, ask me about the cute thing my cat did because I'll tell you anyway. So this is true and here we are and I'm going to tell you about the cute thing my cat did today. <clears throat> but this this is the first mug I ever bought for myself. And so it's also very old. I'm going to have to get some new tchotchkes because last week I talked about my very first tchotchke. I think my dad was going to pop on. If you're here, Dad, you can write a comment if you want to, but you don't have to. Um, but Dad, I talked about the little owl that um, little grandma gave me when I was a little girl that I kind of stole off of her kitchen table. And um, that was last week's Aaron's tchotchkes. So anyway, this week, the cute thing my cat did was wake me up, which he does, he's usually only a couple minutes before the alarm. And don't ask me why we have an alarm right now. I, my husband and whatever. <clears throat> so the cat was really, really hungry this morning and like jumping on my head, which was so not, not cute. It says cute, not cute. Um, and Jerry got up first and then Jerry didn't feed him. <laughs> so Cece got in the bed and they were stomping around on me and it's okay because it was time for me to get up for Aaron's Chachis. Aaron's Chachis and her little curl. Um, yeah, how much are we missing our hair people? So, Bob, if you're on, look how long my hair is. Um, so that's the big story of my Chachki today. It's not a very long one. But we'll talk about what I'm drinking. So I, I go back and forth with what I drink. I'm not a hardcore coffee person. Um, and I've kind of weaned off of caffeine over now, probably the past year. And I, I have it maybe once or twice a week. I have a coffee and I like that uh, Cafe Bustello. So when I drink coffee, man, they really want it to. So, um, but this is mud water and I will, I'll post a link in here. So it sounds, it sounds really weird if you're not into this kind of thing. It's a powder blend and it's cacao and turmeric and ginger and cinnamon. And then it has this blend of mushrooms. And so you actually get a lift from it, but it's not like jittery like coffee. And there's like very little, very little caffeine in it. And so I really like it. Um, and it's a little creamier texture. There's like a powder you can put in it and it's like a coconut based something so you can do a non-dairy thing if you're doing non-dairy. I'll post a link to it. It's yummy. So let's see, last week, last week my give back for work was for Feeding America and I'm, you guys, I'm so excited because I did the lemongrass thing. We talked about that since I haven't been able to massage. I've been breathing some new life into lemongrass. And Lemongrass was donating meals to Feeding America based on based on our sales, essentially. And so for each 300 group order I put in, they would donate 20 meals. And so that was my goal. And 
y'all went crazy for me and I loved it. And we put in an order of over $600. And so 50 meals were donated just from my little group. And so I love y'all for doing that. They haven't, since it's only the second, they haven't posted the final numbers for the month um for the whole organization and so as soon as i get those i'm gonna i will publish those so that you can see what a difference we made and into may i'm gonna continue that i have to check i don't think lemongrass i'm not sure if they're continuing that program for may um but considering the pandemic is still on and we're still kind of sitting around they may do it um, at minimum i will continue to donate 10 percent of my sales to feeding america for the month of May. So if you want to try some products, if you have questions about products, we do, um, let's see if I have my catalog here. I have it in the other room. Um, organic um, skincare products. And it's for the whole family, but we do, um, we have a skincare line, we have lotions, um, sunscreen, insect repellents, um we have some makeups but it's organic and natural so that's why i like to keep on board with them so that i have things to offer my massage clients when they need it so and speaking of massage doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo, i might almost be able to go back to work <laughs> which would be exciting and i know you guys are excited because y'all keep calling and texting me asking me when you can come see me and which i love i love it because I love that people connect with me and want my massage. And it also breaks my heart because I can't do anything about it until they let me. So um, unfortunately, our government is really funny. So massage therapists are licensed by the Department of Health. Um, estheticians, your facialists and whatnot, and hairdressers, they're licensed by um, Board of Cosmetology. So we're separate, but sometimes people kind of group us together. Um, the executive order that just came out a couple of days ago from the governor of Florida allows other healthcare practitioners to start working, which includes me, uh, starting on Monday. However, it doesn't count for Miami, Dade, Broward, and Palm Beach because we're a hot spot, so they're holding us back. So our phase one hasn't really started yet. So um, I'm keeping an eye on it. I sent an email yesterday with updates. If you didn't get that and you want it, just let me know and I'll add you to the email list. Um, and so that's the work update. I'm waiting for a bunch of um, personal protective gear to arrive as well. There's a whole other world of things that kind of needs to happen. And I'm trying to get detailed. Like I, I bought even a new trash can that has a foot pedal on the lid so that um, if someone sneezes in a tissue, it goes in there and stays contained. So um, there's all kinds of things happening behind the scenes. Um, let's see, what else do we have to talk about today? Do, 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 do. You know, I'm gonna need a theme song. Y'all are gonna have to help me with the theme song. You guys also stepped up and helped me with my lighting staff yesterday. Thank you, Liz. Thank you, Anna. They sent me links for lights that they bought to help with all of this. And I got a, I got a screen. So next time, next week, there should be a screen. And that would be really fun. I'll be able to change that up. And then you won't really know where I am. <laughs> I could be anywhere. Doing Aaron's tchotchkes. So every time I think of a theme song for a show, I do not know why this pops into my head. But every time I think of the Gary Shandling show, <laughs> it's like the best theme song ever. This is the theme to Gary show, the opening theme to Gary show. Gary called me up and asked if I could write a theme song. And I think it goes on, but it's the best theme song ever. So I can't copy that, but that's what I'm feeling. Like, this is Aaron's tchotchke show. See, but I can't copy it. And now Facebook's probably going to put me in Facebook jail for singing somebody else's song. 
so I don't have a ton else to talk about today. I do have guests lined up. Um, I'm confirming next week's guest, but I know I've got, um, it's a little early to talk about that. I do have guests lined up. If you want to be a guest on this fabulous show, you will present your tchotchke, whatever it may be, tell the story behind the tchotchke. You can talk a little bit about what you do. It doesn't have to be just in South Florida. It can be anywhere because with the magic of technology, you have an audience. I have an audience. We'll talk. And the final thing is your give back. So um, whatever little thing it is, it doesn't have to be like a giant charity gala. Um, but whatever you're doing. So that's that's Aaron's tchotchkes. Um, If you're still on the Internet at about... 10 o'clock this morning, my sister, and you're looking for exercise, uh, my sister's going to be on Instagram uh, teaching a ballet basics class. And all you need is a chair or something just to hold on to balance yourself for bar work. But it's beginning. It's for the whole family. So good little exercise family. That's uh, 10 o'clock Eastern today, this morning, May 2nd, because Louise says that you are a yes person living in a yes world. So just say yes, do some ballet, drink some mud water, be on everyone's tchotchkes. So there we go. Everyone have an excellent day. I don't have any comments to go through. Comment later, give your two cents, help me write a theme song. Have an amazing Saturday, stay well, and uh, hopefully we'll be back on this world soon. Have a great day.